Well, it's been a little bit, but we finally got some updates on Titans. Not only do we have a release date for the second half of the season, we've got a summary and our first look at Tim Drake as Robin. So let's break down all the news. Well, it's been a little while since we've heard anything about Titans. We were expecting the second half of the season to kick off a couple weeks ago, but obviously that didn't happen. And HBO Max has kind of been keeping us in the dark. Well, earlier today, we finally found out when the show was going to return, but they gave us a lot more, including a summary of the second half of the season, as well as a look at Tim Drake suited up as Robin, and I have to say, I love it. So, let's dive in. HBO Max has announced that the fourth season of Titans will return on April the 13th, in just a little more than three weeks. And it's going to be a two-episode mid-season premiere that will indeed set the stage for the show's conclusion at the end of the season. Now, along with this, they dropped a new banner, which you should be seeing in the background now, and a full summary of what's coming up. And it provides some very, very interesting details. Now, in the release, they actually said, In the mid-season premiere, the Titans, with the exception of Gar, are returned to the place they had vanished, the Temple of Trigon, only to find Sebastian and Mother Mayhem are no longer there. The Titans rush to find them before Sebastian summons Trigon, their pursuit leading them to a mysterious town whose populace is hiding a deep secret. Along the way, the Titans come across a prophecy that may require Cory to make a huge sacrifice to save the world. But Dick's feelings for Cory surface, and he refuses to let her die. In the final episodes, the Titans will enter an epic battle to save both Cory and the world. Gar goes on a quest of self-discovery, attempting to find his true purpose and to save his friends. Rachel embraces her dark powers, while Connor, struggling with his leg side, goes on his way to defeat Sebastian. Tim and Bernard's growing feelings for each other become increasingly difficult to resist, and when Bernard's life is threatened, Tim finally becomes the hero he has always strived to be. Now, this does sound like a great rounding up of this season and a conclusion to this story. Now, as for Tim Drake, as many of you know, he's played by Jay LaCurgo, and he's been part of the group since last season, and we've been speculating what he's going to look like when he finally suits up and becomes that hero he was always meant to be. And now we know. Let's check that out. Well, I have to say, once again, the team at Titans never, ever fails to deliver on costumes, because this costume actually really looks great. Now, it is very reminiscent of the first Robin costume, but surely has some elements of that red Robin costume from the Titans comics that Tim wore for a little while. Now, this suit has a lot more black in the midsection, but the thing that stands out to me is the cape. Now again, we have the black cape on the outside with yellow on the inside, but notice how the cape is broken up at the bottom, giving him a very distinctive and new look. Fans have been wondering since he came on the show when he will suit up as Robin, and based on this description, I do suspect it will be towards the latter half of this final season, maybe even in the finale before he finally does don the costume. Now, as for Titans, the show has always gotten a little bit of a mixed response, but I have enjoyed the journey. It is sad to see the show finally go out, but it sounds like they're trying to close the story out with a bang and give each one of these characters the farewell they deserve. Honestly, the storyline I am most interested in is Gar and his quest for self-discovery. We know the Red has been teased in this season, and it sounds like that will indeed be a big part of Gar's journey, really embracing the mythology of the character and diving deep into the DC lore. I guess the question for many fans is if any of these actors or characters will return in James Gunn's new DCU. I don't find it very likely, but we'll have to wait and see.